Hello, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Now, welcome back with another excited video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create a countdown with more graph inside the Sama 4D. So, there is a few examples. So, as you can see, here is a player. So, in this video, I will show you how you can create this kind of uh, what we say countdown inside the Cinema 4D. So, okay. So that's how it looks like. So let's start. Open up new file, or we just take out our these cube and platonic and delete all this stuff from start from the beginning. So as you can see, we have here three objects: cube, sphere, and platonic. So you can use any of these objects so or you can create anything like text uh, animated text but i'm here to show you to how to create a countdown with cinema 4d using more graph so let's start first we need to create a cloner click go on more graph tab and here we have a cloner object and select all these three objects and child with cloners so how you can do this just drag and drop under the cloner so as you can see here we have this uh, cloner and you can see it's uh, give you it's clone your object like first platonic because there is a first uh, cube in center and sphere if you can increase more objects so as you can see here so it's give you this kind of look and because of we our clones uh, start to iterate so if you change to random as you can see there is now random shape or random alignment so we just good with iterate now next thing we just uh, turn off our cloner for now so we just unvisible this so now we create a text and uh, more graph text here uh, align to the middle here so now we animate this text so we have a 10 second long uh, uh, timeline so you can increase how much you want so i just start from five okay if you don't know how to animate with keyframe inside cinema 4d so just learn before so we start from five now we animate after two seconds it's gonna be on two seconds it's gonna be four on four seconds it's gonna be three sorry I forget to animate it so let's start from the beginning so here the uh, just hold control and click on this button and now go on another keyframe I'm um, just setting on two seconds it's gonna be four and again hold control and click on this button for making it keyframe so on four second we just create a three and hold control click on six seconds it's gonna be two what control on eight seconds it's gonna be one and on ten seconds it's gonna be zero so this is our simple sorry on ten seconds we need to have ten here it's gonna be zero so as you can see we have our animated text countdown so you can do anything you can type any text or anything so here we done with our more graph text so next thing we just uh, if we don't add more text as an object in our cloner so I will show you what happened if we do this so if we do we, if we change the mode of cloner to object and put the more text inside our object so as you can see there is nothing happen because we just turn on this 
so there is one sphere on of one platonic because it's not working with this Mortax cloner not working with Mortax so what we can do here so we just a uh, child this Mortax with a con uh, connect generator so just click here and select a connect alt hold alt and click on this so as you can see we have this uh, five so don't worry about this shape we don't need to use this shape so we just hide our connect object for now and change the cloner object from mode x to connect so as you can see here we get some shape of five so but uh, how we can increase more uh, object in our mode x because there's no look like a five right now so in the settings we just change the count rate First, we just change the distribution. Now it's distri uh, distribution select to surface. So we need to change it to a volume. So here we go. Now we add a count tray, count to 100, or you can increase more like this. So 200. Okay, that's looking okay for me. Or we just change the setting a little bit, cube up, and that's look great. So now next thing we need to add a uh, random effector for uh, make it look little bit interesting because it's not look really nice now right now. So here we go. We just go on more graph effector add a random effector. So when you add it, so nothing happened because we need to. Uh, uh, many time it select automatically if you when you apply a factor mostly it's select automatically but here it's not so what we can do just go in your cloner a factor and put this random in your factor so as you can see it's gonna mess all the objects so what we can do here we just go in random tab so we just uncheck the position in parameters we just uncheck the position and add the scale uniform scale 0.5 for anything for shape so it's looking okay and I add rotation for more random effect like 1990 now it look cool for me so now it's time to animate our object so what we can do here we just take a little bit up from the ground and add the floor okay we use floor for uh, collider body so because uh, for our effect so what we can do here now we just add a rigid body on our cloner so right click simulation tags and add rigid body and on floor just add a collider body so i just do this like this so now if we hit play so as you can see nothing happen it just fall down like one object so how we can fix it just go in rigid body tag and click on collision and change individual elements to all so now if we hit play so it's gonna explode that we don't want right now but it's working okay for now so how we can fix it we want it to change into another number not explode so how we can fix it we just go in rigid body and click on force tag and there is two parameter we need to change follow position and follow rotation so if we just change it to one for showing you what happened with this so now it's follow his position and going down slowly so we just increase it and also add rotation parameter now if we hit play as you can see now it's working like a countdown but we want it to fall down and then make next uh, then make next what we say next number so how we can do this by we can do this by adding a keyframe to our these two parameters so we just go to our frame 20 and create a keyframe and on frame 21 just make it to zero 
now we just go here on 50 frame where is our uh, 4 so we just add we just leave it we just create a keyframe by control clicking on this uh, object so here we go now on 65 we just again set it to a 10 so as you can see now if we hit play so it fall down and it's convert into 4 so you can do same with all these next uh, what we say next uh, number so that's how you make a countdown with your more graph factor you can use any of these objects you can just use a cube like this or you can use just a sphere like this so you can do a lot of stuff uh, with this plugin i hope you like this video thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel bye bye if you have any further request of any kind of uh, tutorial comment below thanks